All right, this video is going to be on, based on flipping government checks. Whether it's $800 or $2,000, this is how you, in 2021, from here on out, this is how you flip a government check appropriately, legally, legitimately. This is how you flip a government check starting right now in 2021 throughout for however long it lasts. The first thing you do when you get your government check, say that at the end of the month, you pay your rent, the money they give you for rent. Then you buy some shampoo and conditioner, body lotion, deodorant, maybe some body spray, whatever kind you want, some good fragrance to put on your body. You buy you some clothing drip. It's called drip. D R I P. Drip. A hat, a coat, shorts, some some decent shoes. Because, you know, all the way from $800 to $2,000, you can, you can wrap everything up within a day or two. Okay? You pay your rent. You, your, drip, your drip don't have to be J's and um, name, you know, name brand. Drip, drip, drip is clothing. Drip is clothing the way you do your hair, the things you shower with, all the way from the body wash, the shampoo, and the conditioner to the head. Listen, you can get decent drip at Dollar General and Family Dollar, Goodwill and Salvation Army. You can even get decent drip at Myers and Walmart still in 2021. Mm. I'm going to switch lanes real quick. When you're 18 and you graduate high school and you get your parents buy you a car, you buy your own. That car, if you're a teenager, male or female, that car is for you and only you as an individual. Oops. Hold on. They don't like that one. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. I'm going to get this back on track. Okay. As, when you get a car for graduation, that's like Europe. From your parents and for your graduation, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That car is for you as an independent individual, male or female, graduate from any high school. That car is meant for you and only you. If you let, if you choose to let people ride with you, or you choose to take people out on the weekend, are they are they covering the gas? Are they chipping in on the gas? Are they chipping out in on the food? Are they chipping on the, on the car wash and the vacuum, keeping the car clean inside and outside? Are they chipping on in on uh, the repairs on the engine? You know the check engine light. You know the little the little gas gauge. The tires. Are people when you graduate high school? The people in your car that you choose to either let ride for free. Or just ride because they ask. Are they are they are they chipping in money to be in the car that you graduated that you earned from graduation? If you think that's like a free ride, if you're if you're not if you're letting people ride for free, then they're just pretty much scamming you and using you. Free rides. But anyway, you know, if you got to start out, if you got to make it out the mud, if you got to make it out the mud on your own, then you and you think you're just going to straight go straight to the top and you'll be eating shrimp at 18, you might want to start with, you know, you know, you know, like 
food that's decent, but it ain't expensive. Um, and until you and when you get a dog, you get until you got your substance abuse under control, your alcohol and uh, drug problem under control. Even if you own a business, you still ain't right in the world. You think just because you got a lot of money, you get you making good money, and you buying, you going to the most expensive, and you doing drugs, either pills or some other form of drug or alcohol, and you going to the finest uh, restaurants at casinos or wherever. Eating hundred dollar steaks, you know, twenty dollar drinks, and you got a substance abuse problem. That don't lead. That don't lead to a good position or plateau or platform in the world. Um. Let me bring it to reality. And I hope nobody gets upset with this. Because this is reality of the world I'm about to tell y'all. One thing. Being, being single. Being single and having your own place to live. And your own car and free to travel. Like me. I don't want to invite any, any woman. Uh, first of all, I'm, I don't allow any males where I stay. And then second of all, I'm attracted to the opposite sex in all ways. I'm attracted to women in all ways. One thing I never do is let them come to my section or my space or any place I'm at that's my private personal space in the world. I either go to them or we, we, we find a destination to link. You ever heard that song, Let's Link? So that's one thing. One thing is, is a single a corporate business owner that that's independent. When you link, when I link with a woman, it ain't at any of my personal private spaces or where I stay. I'll just be honest. And you, and you sing and you and you people that are married that link with other people, don't let them people live with you and stay with you. That ain't good. If you're married, if you're married and you have kids and you have a house, and you're linking as a, couple, a married couple with other people, then you that does that destroys your whole your whole marriage, your whole your relationship between your kids, your your house, your whole house. Your it just so there you go. But anyway, when it comes to uh, a government flipping a government check, don't waste all your money on alcohol and drugs. You know, use if you if you got a substance abuse problem. I mean, if you're like a corpse that like lives for the substance, the drinking and the drugs, go check yourself into a hospital. Get institutionalized and get your shit back together and start flipping your government check like you're supposed to. As for me, when I get my government check within two weeks, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, pay my rent, um, buy me some new drip, all the way from my head to my shoes, my feet, shoes, and um, um, I might flip a couple bucks on Cash App, um, put fill fill a car up full of gas. Probably buy me some food. Um, probably buy me some extra smokes, some extra tea. You know, maybe uh, maybe do some tithing, some ties with uh, Creflo and uh, Joel and Richard. But that's that's how you flip a government check. Make sure you pay your rent, your light bill, where you stay, 
and you should be great. The hook.